form a small finger. Turn the lathe off. Move the tailstock out of the way and reposition the wobble chuck to align the centre marks. Bring the tool rest back ready to turn the next section. Having created the top cut, here we are now going to create this curve here. Turn the lathe on and proceed with the next cut. Again, fairly light cut. No great rush. You don't need to remove a lot of timber at any one time. Remembering that on the top section, you are still cutting air some of the time. Here, we have to hold it. Having got so far in, stop the lathe and check progress. Here we can see the top section almost formed, but we do need to reduce this diameter. So turn the lathe on and continue with the same types of cuts, a little at a time, until you are happy with the appearance of the problem. That should be enough, so we will stop and check. tool rest out of the way, check the finish, sand if required, and then we will reposition the chuck. Slacken the grub screws and align the centre mark with the grub screw in the anti-clockwise direction. Retighten. Bring the tool rest back in the clearance by hand. And it is now ready to create this next section. Start the lathe and proceed with the next cut. Again, small cuts, nothing too heavy. As always with spindle turning, cut down hill. When you've got about this far, stop the lathe and check your progress. As we can see here, we still have a way to go, so start the lathe and continue with the same cut. We are probably getting somewhere close to it, so again, stop and check. As you can see the diameter is reducing here but we have a flat spot so we need to continue cutting as before. Turn the lathe on and proceed. is about right now but there is just still a small section flat here to remove so we'll just start the lathe up and continue two cuts to do it clean up the bottom there and there we are remove the tool rest check the finish 
sand if required. Slacken the grub screws and realign the centre with the opposite grub screw. This setting will allow us to turn the final dimension. Reposition the tool rest and again check the clearance by hand. Turn the lathe on and create the final section. Again, we need to check progress, so we will stop the lane and see how it goes. As you can see, we still need to remove a fair amount of uh, waste material, so we will turn the lathe back on and continue with the cut. We are getting close to the required diameter. We will stop the lathe for one last time to check progress. As you can see, the diameter is almost there now. We still have this small flat section to remove. So we'll turn the lathe on, make a few more cuts, and then hopefully be ready to part the project. Remove the tool rest, check the finish, sand if required, and reset the project to the center. Bring the tool rest in, check for clearance, turn the lathe on, and now we'll part the project off. By an appropriate finish and proudly display. Your new ring. Thank you.